hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ajua and I hope this video finds you well if you are new to this place please consider subscribing and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for your support and welcome back in this video I have 20 fragrances which are heavy on the woods in most instances a lot of people shy away from woods however there are some subtle woods as well as some very prominent woods it depends on what you are looking at in some fragrances you can barely detect the wood but they are there whilst in others they are very pronounced and those are somehow the main accord or the main notes I have 20 of such fragrances in my collection and i will start with the ones which are not like so obvious when it comes to the wood but the woods are still there the very first one i have here is shalina exclusive by fragrance world fashioned after the good old delina exclusive there is not an obvious or a so obvious wood in this however to me it is the wood and the incense in this one that grounds this fragrance together a lot of people know delina and delina exclusive for their rhubarb lychee rose you know notes however the wood and the incense in this one really do it for me it is beautiful the wood is light it is a wood for non-wood lovers i think a lot of people who are even into delia are not so much aware of the fact that there is an wood presence in this one just because it is a very subtle done right wood so this is shalina exclusive by fragrance world the next wood or woody fragrance i have here is eternal wood by latafa the name is a bit misleading it says eternal wood however it is the amber and the fruit that take center stage in this one it is a heavy plum and grapefruit fragrance infused with that heavy dose of amber and the wood the wood here is very smooth it's quite gentle it's not as intense as other woods that i'm about to um, highlight in this video but you can still quite get the wood here the name can be a little misleading since it's called eternal wood however it is a very tolerable bearable um beginner friendly wood so this is eternal wood by latafa the next fragrance here is black afghano by fragrance world this one has an obvious tobacco cannabis a very strong cannabis some chocolate some cacao some coffee notes the incense the tobacco the cannabis notes you know overtakes this one but if you pay attention you strongly get that wood nuance in it so it is quite subtle it is not like too obvious of an wood fragrance but it's still present the next not too obvious woody fragrance i have here is kaid by latafa in kaid the cinnamon the cardamom the vanilla the leather sort of overtakes or overshines the wood nuance in this one it is quite strong but those notes you know really typically you know overshadows the wood in this one the wood in this one is not center stage however it has some cedar which really grounds this fragrance together it has a very prominent middle eastern vibes or an oriental vibe it helps the cedar sort of ground this together that and make it a bit masculine leaning so that is kaid amir aoud intense is by latafa and it is basically a smoky vanilla fragrance with some heavy presence of wood it's been likened to by the fireplace and i totally agree it is a beautiful smooth vanilla with some smokiness and that wood is very prominent it is one of those fragrances that you know fills up a room it is quite strong but it is very smooth it's very well done the wood here is very beautiful it is not skunky it is not animalic i love this one it is very smooth it gives you a very gentle manly or lady like you know boss lady sort of you know vibes it is a very beautiful one it is blended beautifully with the smoky accord and the vanilla so that is amir aoud intense by latafa Shamoki by Fragrance World is a very spicy, oriental, fruity fragrance. It is quite woody. It is quite strong when it comes to the wood. It is a very sweet oriental style wood infused with raspberry. Very beautiful, very unisex, although it leans a little bit um, feminine to me, you know, because of that raspberry and what I perceive as like some sugar. You know, it's very sweet, very piercing. It fills up a room. It is quite loud. It is very oriental in nature. It is very, you know, likable, very much appealing it gives you the compliment it fills up a room it is very spicy you know quite spicy that fruit you know lingers throughout the the fragrance and the wood is very present and that is shaboki by fragrance world 
The next one on this list is Latafe's Wood for Glory, and there can never be an oud or woody fragrance without this fragrance. It is amazing. It is quite animalic. It has some animalic nuance or banyardy sort of nuances to it. Some lavender, some saffron, some patchouli. It is quite earthy. It is quite powdery as well. You know, it's quite also musky. It might not be for everyone. However, it is a very sophisticated, gentle, manly, ladylike, you know, sense. Very unisex in nature. The banyardy or the animalic, you know, twist it has it's not like overbearing as um some other woody you know animalic fragrances it's quite very bearable it might not be the number one choice if you are new into woody fragrances or middle eastern fragrances but if you want to try something quite daring quite bold i would highly recommend wood for glory Next to Oud for Glory, I'll add Amethyst by Latafa as well. They are quite similar and the only difference I find between these two is that Amethyst has something like a Turkish rose, you know, um, added to the mix. It is quite delicious. It is quite banyardy. I find it much more animalic banyardy than Oud for Glory. But it has that sweet quality, that Turkish delight with the rose, the Turkish, the Bulgarian rose, you know, it is very beautiful. It might also not be for everybody. It is also not beginner friendly. It is a much more feminine version of the Oud for Glory. They both come across as banyardi, you know, it's like entry level banyardi, sort of, you know, fecal, animalic, um, carnal, you know, sexy, very, you know, um, compliment magnets. They pull the compliments. They might not be for everyday wear. They might be for special occasions, but however you wear it, you need to be bold. You need to be, you know, on the room when you enter the room with either um, Oud for Glory or Amethyst. They are amazing budget-friendly woody fragrances. The next fragrance I have here that I would highly recommend is Shagaf Oud. It's been compared to Lancome's Oud Bouquet and this is a very beautiful alternative at a fraction of the price. It's about $22 currently and it's so beautiful. This is a typical Middle Eastern Oriental style rose wood combo with some praline and some saffron it is so delicious it's an oriental style gourmand done right it is also not for everybody it is quite strong it can be a little polarizing or obnoxious to some people people find it too heavy people you know don't like the, the scent profile in general the rose wood combo people are sort of over it however this one you can just use it for your, your special occasions it is like room filling it catches everybody's attention the wood here is not like super big beginner friendly you know it is not like super beginner friendly however it is very tolerable just one or two sprays for a beginner is going to be good if you feel you have gone past the beginner stage you can do about six to seven sprays of this one and every single person around you is going to smell you it is a very heavy complement magnet and i love this one the wood here is beautifully done coupled with that rose and the saffron and the praline it is delicious and beautiful the next on this list is Ragba Wood Intense by Latafa. This is a very heavy licorice, heavy wood, heavy wood. It has woods and wood, heavy sugar, heavy vanilla. It is quite heavy in everything that it has. It is very prominent. It is very sweet. The sugar is very piercing. It fills up a room. It might be a little heady or even like headache inducing if you overspray this one. It is better for colder weather, especially for autumn, winter. You know, if you spray it in the high heat, just have to do one or two sprays. Anything beyond that is going to suffocate you personally. I love this one. It is like a very room filling one. The wood here is beautifully done. It's a very sweet oriental wood coupled with that sugar, that vanilla, that spice, that licorice, which gives it a very minty um, touch and then some smoky accord. It is a very beautiful one. I highly recommend that you check it out if you have, if you have not. I think it's quite, you know, it's been on the market for since 2014. So lots and lots of fragrance enthusiasts have come across this in one way or the other. So Ragba Wood Intense is one that I would highly recommend. The next highly recommended fragrance which contains wood that I would recommend is Oud Alayal by My Perfumes Arabias. Do not try this one if you are afraid to be bold or daring. Do not try this one because everybody, every single person around you, you know, close to you is going to smell you. It is very heavy on the wood. It is very heavy on the rose. The rose here is very sweet. You know, it's like sickly sweet, sugary, sweet rose. You know, it gives off this very um, dried rose nuance or dried rose notes coupled with that heavy dose of agar wood and then some saffron and some something that I perceive as violet. It is very, you know, out there in your face, very potent. Everybody is going to smell you. It is smell me before you see me sort of fragrance and it's not for everybody. It has that stereotypical Middle Eastern Oriental style 
good touch to it. It is not for everybody. However, if you are able to let this one sit for some time, get smoother, smoothing out, and then macerate beautifully, you are absolutely going to love this one. It is good for special locations. If you want to stand out from the crowd, if you don't want anybody to smell like you, that is when you go for Oud Al Layel. I love the Oud here. It is not skunky. It is not animalic. However, it is very sharp and piercing. So you need to be ready and prepared when you want to dominate a room with Oud Al Layel by MAC Perfumes Arabiat. The next fragrance I have here is Ministry of Oud's Oud Satin Mood. And by the name, you know it's a dupe for MFK's Oud Satin Mood. And it's a very, very great dupe. It's a dupe done right, you know. The only difference is that that one is not as smooth and as potent as the OG. However, for the price, you cannot complain. The Violet, the Rose Oud Combo, it is very beautiful, very beautiful, very seductive. It gives off this very mysterious, seductive or seductress sort of, you know, vibes. I love that fragrance. However, it is not one that I tend to gravitate towards for the most part because there is something about it that you need to be prepared to wear it. It is quite polarizing, you know, at some point if you don't wear it well. It is better in the colder environment from what I have, you know, experienced, it is much better in the colder environments. The violet and the rose sort of overtakes the fragrance. However, the oud here is very prominent. It is very smooth and well done. It is also not quite a beginner-friendly woody fragrance, you know. So if you feel you want to try something out of the box, something out of the ordinary, or when you are ready to advance in your oud game, then you can go for Ministry of Oud's Oud Satin Mood. The next fragrance I have on this list is one that I have unfortunately boxed into a category that I want to, you know, bring out. I usually wear it for funerals. It reminds me of, you know, like old cathedrals. It is quite gothic, quite mysterious, yet very exotic and sexy. And this one is Club de Nuit Intense Woman by Amav. It is a very beautiful wood rose combo with some geranium and some nutmeg. It is very exotic. It gives off this very mysterious oriental style wood rose, you know, combo, but it is so done right. It is so different from all the rose and wood combos I have come across, probably because of that geranium and the nutmeg, you know, but it's, it's a standalone fragrance, you know, on its own. It is beautiful. Unfortunately, I have boxed it to funerals because, you know, the rose in this one reminds me of very dry, you know, dry sort of, you know, dusty rose. That is what it reminds me of. So, I think I just need to bring myself to wearing this one for any other occasion other than funerals. But you know, as a fragrance on its own, it is phenomenal. It is beautiful. It is sexy. It is mysterious. And I love it. The next woody fragrance that I will highly recommend, this is a fragrance that I don't want to be without. If I ever finish my bottle, I am getting a new one. And this is Arabians by Montal. This is a very powdery, musky, leathery, animalic, banyabi, sexy oud. I love this one. I don't think I can ever, you know, have a collection without this particular fragrance. It is one that I would highly recommend. It might not be for everybody. There is something sexy about Bania the Animalic Fragrances. They are very carnal, very sexy, quite, you know, powdery, leathery. It has like all the notes that I adore in the fragrance. It is sexy. It fills up a room. I love that powdery, seductive, animalic nature that this one has. And that is a reason why I would always want to have this one in my collection. The oud here is very sexy, very carnal, very sensual, very comforting. It is like, to me, it is a perfect oud, you know, fragrance or one of the perfect oud fragrances that I have in my collection. So this is Arabians by Montal. The next amazing woody fragrance that I have in my collection that I will always, always love to have is Alexandra II by Zezhov. This is beautiful. It goes in the likeness of the um, Arabians by Montal. They are not the same, but you know, they have like similar nuances being powdery, leathery, animalic, you know, but very smooth. The wood in these two fragrances are very smooth, very blended, so beautifully. I love those two fragrances. If you ever want to start an oody, you know, an oud collection, these two I would highly recommend because they don't come off as very, you know, in your face sort of oud. They are not super offensive, you know, because people find some ouds offensive. They are not offensive in any way. If you get to understand how these animalic banya, the powdery, you know, oudy, you know, work, then you, you will begin to really appreciate these sort of fragrances. I love Alexander II by Zezhov. It is one of my go-to fragrances for special occasions. Whenever I'm in the mood to feel like a boss lady, that is what I go for. I love that fragrance. It is very powdery, sexy, animalic, masky, and sensual. So that is Alexandra II by Zezhov. So Lady Ombre Jacques Juice by Fragrance World is a fragrance that I will always, always recommend. 
this has raspberry some oud some leather some geranium you know some fruity accords it is beautiful i'm not too sure the you know all the composition that it has but whatever it is it's amazing that might also not be for everyone because it has a very stereotypical middle eastern oudy you know nuance to it it is not for everybody but if you love oud if you want something different if you want something to you know to stand out that is the one that i would highly recommend for the price you cannot go wrong it has something like a bitter aftertaste to it you know that needs some um, a quiet sort of taste to be able to appreciate it it has something bitter about it and i think it's coming from the oud then the raspberry you know also shines through i love this fragrance and i'm regretting not bringing it along it is one that i would highly highly recommend you know for every given occasion for a special location and it lasts it lasts you know initially when i got it i didn't get the you know the potency but this fragrance lasts so this is one that i would highly recommend for the price you cannot go wrong the next one i have here is called rose addicts by pandora scent and this is fashioned after tom ford's rose prick aside the beautiful rose that this one has it is a beautiful earthy animalic you know sort of um earthy patchouli vetiver notes that this one has that really you know do it for me i love it you know it is very unisex in nature because of those sort of nuances and it is an easy complement magnet the adult here is quite beautiful it is just a little to the middle eastern oriental style you know that is how i find it but on it on a whole it is a very beautiful unisex you know rose um earthy patchouli woody fragrance so that is rose addict by pandora scent if you are looking to add in any Latafa fragrance in your collection and you love that woody, woody fragrances or those general fragrances, I would love that you look up Raw Human by Latafa. This is one to look out for. It is very beautiful. It has a very woody presence and a bit of agar wood. It is very delicious because of the ap apricots and the plum. So I call it my gourmand, you know, leather scent. I have compared this one to... Um, Tom Ford's ombre leather, it gives me that ombre leather with the heavy presence of creamy, um, creamy sandalwood with a very heavy presence of some creamy apricots. It is very delicious. You get a typical gourmand nature in this and then it gets a very smoky, leathery, you know, oody oud sort of vibes to this one. This is so beautiful. To me, it's an entry level fragrance for people who want to try woods and woods and leather because of that infusion of the apricot and the plum it makes it a bit feminine however it is a very unisex fragrance that can be you know rocked by men and women and it's i think it's very good for everyday occasion you know you don't need any special occasion to wear this one the next fragrance with a heavy wood present that i would highly recommend is tiziana Terenzi's asa where do i start from this is a concoction of every single thing. It has some leather, some vanilla, some tonka, olipadam, um, what tobacco, everything. It has some amazing strong in your face notes and those come together to form this beautiful banyadi sort of, you know, a little slightly banyadi, slightly animalic, yet a very smooth, leathery, woody, tobacco-ish, you know, vanilla, something chocolatey, like every single thing that you want in a fragrance, you find nuances of every single thing. You cannot pinpoint one particular thing that it stands for. It stands for everything that I want in a fragrance with an oud touch and more. So that is Tiziana Terenzi's Asa, a very beautiful, well blended, powdery, leathery, vanillic, woody, tobacco, everything, every single thing. It's a concoction in a very beautiful way. And if you love Tiziana Terenzi's Asa, you are going to love F.A. Paris's Caesar. They are sort of, you know, in the same sort of family. This one has over 20 notes, Caesar. And I love this fragrance. It is both sweet, fruity, earthy, um, vanilla, thyme, sage, tobacco, leather. Tonka bean, some amazing delicious notes with a touch of class, a touch of sophistication, well blended, well polished, excellent for all location, excellent for both men and women. It is excellent in general. I love the scent profile. It gives me luxury. It gives me sophistication. It gives me bougie. It gives me rich auntie. It gives me boss man. It gives me every single thing. Caesar by F.A. Paris. It is one to look out for. I love that fragrance. I love the scent profile. It is amazing it is phenomenal the wood here is chef case i love this one so watch out for caesar by fa paris so that is all i have for you today 
20 amazing fragrances with the prominent oud note if you are into oud at least you should have or own one or two of these fragrances they will make like such a huge difference in your wardrobe or your fragrance wardrobe they are all phenomenal and i will highly recommend each and every one of these fragrances thank you so much for your support i love to see in my comment section thank you for all the likes the comments the criticisms the positive criticisms the love that you show me that is amazing i love you all and god bless you and i hope to see you in my next one take care bye bye